So now that we've taken a look at the track, <laughs> let's sort of take a, uh, a closer dive in. Now, the reason I've done this song, I mean, there's two reasons actually why I've done this song. One is to celebrate the uh, 30th anniversary of the Nevermind album, which, depending on when you're watching this video, might have been some time ago. Uh, but it was <laughs> 2021, September, October 2021, and we're celebrating 30 years of the, of the Nevermind album. The other reason I've done it is as part of my tuition guide, the Everything Guide to Guitar, in which um, the and the section that we're in is alternate tunings, okay? And something in the way is in an alternate tuning. Um, and at first, when I first looked at it, and, and before we go any further, we are going to do a standard tuning version of this song. So if you're not quite happy about putting your guitar into a different tuning then hold on or just check down there and there's a bit to whiz you to the um, standard tuning but anyway what I was going to do was uh, when I first looked at it I just sort of like well it's, hang on, it's only two chords what's the point and um, then I realized it was in this alternative tuning so what tuning is it it's in what is generally named as drop C okay now, we guitarists who've been dealing with alternative tunings, we're quite familiar with drop D. And it's got a lot in common with drop D. And what drop D is, my guitar's in standard at the moment. Drop D is when the bottom E string goes down to D. And it's a very easy alternative tuning to do because you just play your D string and then you play your bottom E string and you make the two sound the same. And down the E string goes.
and you get a big D. Drop C is essentially this. But the whole guitar, including the drop D, is down a tone. Now, what do we mean by a tone? Uh, well, quite frankly, boys and girls, a tone is the distance of two notes. So C to D, two frets there, that is a tone. You know, D to E, E to F sharp is a tone. And um, so it's all gonna go down a tone. So that D is gonna go down to a C, the A string is going to go down to a G. The D is going to go, I'm going to get one of these wrong. The D is going to go down to a C. The G string is going to go down to an F. The B is going to go down to an A. And the E is going to go down to a D. Now, how do we do it? Now, I haven't got a tuner, so I'm going to show you how to do it by ear. You can do it by with, with a tuner, of course. But So, we're in drop D. And you saw me put it in drop D. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the fifth fret thing all the way down-ish. And um, so this note here is G. The G that would be there in standard tuning, because we've dropped it, has now moved to there. So that, and that is what I want this A to be. So there, that's now. I'm gonna keep doing that. So this is now a C. So down to, down, dropping the D string down to C. Need three hands sometimes. Fourth fret here. And the D. Now. I'm going to do a bit of fine tuning. Now, this is C. This is still D. We want to make this down to the C. So I'm going to do the drop D thing again. And there it is. So just to clarify, that is C, uh, G, G, C, F, and D. So let's take a look at the chords. I mean, essentially, as always, all Kurt Cobain is really doing is power chords. You get this uh, E power chord here, the two fourth frets on your two bottom strings. And then you get the open two bottom strings. That's the verse. Bit of tuning. And yeah, so that's just your... Now in the chorus, it's the same two chords. What Kurt Cobain generally does and, and what people watching in internet land might be like is, is looking at what I'm doing and be like, well, that's not what Kurt Cobain does. I mean, I generally don't care what the original guitarist does. I'm just trying to show you a few bits and pieces and, you know, uh, make you go, oh, I never thought of that. So what I do, so Kurt Cobain will just play the power chord and he does go to the open D. What I do here, and this is something I've shown you before when we did drop D, and the same rule applies because the tuning is roughly the same, well, it's the same, but I tone down, um, is I like to put more of the power chord into this shape. So I've got that, that big drop chord, power chord shape there. But what I then also do is I extend it. Uh, to include all the strings except for the top string, which, generally speaking, is muted. So what I'm doing there, I mean, I've, my first fret is, is my first finger is barring that fourth fret, but we're only hearing those bottom three strings. I've got my third finger on the sixth 
fret of the third string and I've got my fourth finger on the uh, seventh fret of the second string. It's basically a, a D suspended two shape. But barred. So it's, 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 it's just something that I do instead of just sitting there doing that with a line there. So it'll completely up to you. All right, so doing this song in standard tuning, if you, I mean, my first rule with most guitar playing things is if you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. I mean, I'm messing about with your guitar. So to that end, there might be some people who are a little bit unsure, a little bit uncertain about detuning your guitar. Um, you really shouldn't be because it's a standard thing that guitarists do, you know, is, is just to generally sometimes detune your guitar. So you shouldn't be scared of doing that. Um, but in case you, know, you might be a complete beginner and, and just want to play some Nirvana, which is absolutely fine. You can do this song, or you can do a version of this song anyway, in standard tuning, because it is only two chords at the end of the day. It's an E minor and a C. So the intro riff is where you get your biggest problems. Um, and it starts on the E minor power chord, and you can do that without any problem at all. When you drop the guitar, or when you drop the guitar tuning, uh, the E that's here goes all the way down to this fourth fret and the B that you normally play on an E power chord comes all the way down to this fourth fret here so you have that fourth fret line but so you can do it as an E power chord E minor it's not an E minor because it's a power chord but it's an E5 power chord it's when you go to the C that you get the little bit of oh that's not quite right because that big bottom C it's down there somewhere you know, we don't have it in standard tuning what you do have and you can kind of get away with it is the G this G here that's normally there when you do a G chord that G there and um, this is the note that this string is tuned to, the A string is tuned to when you drop your guitar string. So you, that note is still in the riff. So what I kind of think you can do, you could do a C power chord, but that's just a bit too high because it needs to have that lowness. So what I would suggest you do, and there's no right or wrong with this because it doesn't do it in a standard tuning. But what I would suggest you do is do the C on the third fret on your fifth string and the, the G on the third fret of your sixth string. And you just get this slightly more evil sound. Like that. So you can go backwards and forwards. And it does still have that evil kind of feel about it. So I think you can kind of get away with it. Chorus wise, it's an E minor and a C. So that's how you can get away with it uh, in standard tuning. And um, yeah, that's about it, really. So thank you very much for watching, boys and girls. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Head down there to the descriptions where you can find the link to get the tabs. Also head down there into the description where you can find the link to all the accompanying videos for this little Nirvana Nevermind at 30 thing that I've done. Basically what I've done is I've done Smells Like Teen Spirit, I've done In Bloom, I've done uh, Something in the Way, and I've done, for those of you lucky enough to own a Line 6 Helix, I've done a how I got the Kurt sound from my Line 6 Helix video as well. Uh, so all of those links are down there. Go to FletcherSteve.com where there's loads of resources for you. Um, but other than that, we'll see you next time, boys and girls. Bye-bye.